do the handle real quick. So what I'll do is, is I'll change the foot back to the regular foot. And then these handles, again, they would work better if, if they were iron. But I'm not, I don't have time for that right now. So I'm just, like, I, 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 I clipped it and then I tore it down the middle, okay? So, uh, so that's how they, they came in to be half. But what I'm going to do is basically, I'm just going to turn it over like that and then flip this over so it's, and then I'm going to sew near the edge and kind of in the middle. It's going to, it's basically, it's kind of in the middle. And so basically I'm just sewing over that overlocked edge and then I come basically to the edge of the table and then turn it over then come to the edge of the table flip it over hold it down and then sew and like I say I'm just sewing it on the on top of the overlock edge that I already sewed okay Technically, I could turn it under, and I don't have to have that overlock edge. Now, sometimes if you're not careful, you can get the you can get the thread caught into the stitch, like it like it happened right there. Fortunately, I got that out. Sometimes I sweat certain stuff. Now, Okay, so unfortunately I have one more. This is really going slow. I wish I had a, well, I wouldn't iron them, but maybe I might iron them, I might. Like if I was doing a bunch of ironing and then, uh, and I was ironing other stuff and then I had these over there by the iron, then I would, I would iron them. What I usually try to do on these is uh, I have these uh, these throw plates and so on the throw plate what I do is I use this edge right here of the throw plate as the guide. Actually this throw plate is bigger than the one that's on here. But in any event you can use these little lines, like or these spaces here, you can use those as a guide, like as an example. You can take, and you can run the fabric on that line right there, so that so that that's the guide. But in my case, I'm gonna run it on that line. So that's where I'm gonna run the, and so I'm gonna do an edge stitch, and I'm gonna use this little part as the guide. That part right there. And the feed dogs fit in here. This is the throat plate right here. Okay. So I'm going to use that part as the guide. And sometimes when you're sewing, you 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 dent the throat plate. Like when you when a needle breaks and stuff like that. So anyway, so like I'm using that guide where I showed you. Okay. And in fact, uh, and you just, you, you just run it off like that. And then from here, now I'm gonna just flip it over. Now I also, I, I cut this. So now, now these are done. They're halfway done. So, so as you can see, I have, uh, so how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was right. So you get eight. Okay, so. So there you have it. Okay, so just in closing, I'm going to cut these and technically because this fabric is kind of stretchy, technically I would I would kind of iron this this these uh handles maybe before I cut them. I would I would iron them. I'm not going to, but I would. Okay, so that way they'll they'll just be more crisper, okay? Now, when they're done, usually I'll just fold these and I'll cut them into fours, but when they're done, they'll be looking like these. And these handles, they go to some other bags that, I, that I'm making. So anyway, so tune in for the next video. And uh, I would say like, su subscribe, and uh, share. But more importantly, go get some fabric and then get your sewing machine. And then you can get busy doing the same thing. So um, 